Uh, hello and welcome to the official IBU World Cup press conference after women's 10k pursuit in Hofilsen. First place, Marte Olsbury, Roisland of Norway. Marte, first win of the season. Another composed uh, performance. Can you just take us through your day today? Yeah, it was. Uh, first, I have to start with the whole season. It has been really good for me, but I missed the. Um, the one thing that makes me a winner, I have been second and I've been fourth and I was so motivated before before the, the race today because I really want to be on the top and uh, and it started good today, we had such good skis, I have to uh, thanks for the wax team, it was just amazing and my shape was also good uh, today and uh, it was a hard fight uh, for every shooting and I was a bit nervous in the last uh, shooting when I missed this, uh, the last shot. So, but I'm so glad that it, it was enough. It was uh, I was really nervous in the last loop. And can you compare uh, the preparations to last season when you had clear focus on two weeks to this season when focus is a total score? Obviously, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's uh, different. Um, last season uh, the focus was on. Uh, the World Championship in Antals and uh, to this year it's my main focus is to be good for every race and you have to be up there and, and fight for the yellow bib and uh, I never done that before so it's uh, it's um, yeah I don't know it's hard uh, and but it's also a bit um, exciting because I've never done it before and I'm, I'm looking forward to every race and it's so fun to race again and the the girls are so strong, so it, it's going to be a tough fight this year. <laughs> and how do you manage your energy and ambitions over four months? Uh, and what lessons did you take from previous seasons? Because you had some lapses in the past. Yeah, I have learned a, a lot from the last season. And uh, I've trained really good this year and I feel strong and I hope it will be enough to 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 be up there the whole season, but you don't know. We're still just in week three and it's a lot of competition uh, left, so we just have to see. And how do you go about your everyday life in the bubble? You look very at peace with yourself, at <laughs> least from the outside. Yeah, um, uh, I am. <laughs> um, um, I have nothing to, to, to be sad about. I um, uh, have a good life on the outside and Yes, everything is good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> good luck. Thanks. Um, second place, Dinara Limbekova of Belarus. Dinara, congratulations. Your form continues to be on a world-class level. How did you prepare for the competition today? Динар, поздравления с очередным подиумом. Как вы сегодня подготавливались к сегодняшней гонке? Я сегодня можно сказать, почти не волновалась. Только когда приехала на стадион, примерила э, лидерскую майку э, в преследовании. Только потом ощутила все волнение. Но быстро успокоилась и собрала все мысли. И уже выходила, настраивалась на хорошую свою работу. Э, не было никаких целей от кого-то убегать или какие-то занимать места. Э, просто настраивалась на чистую, чистую работу и получить удовольствие от гонки. Uh, I can say that today I almost uh, didn't worry uh, before coming to the stadium, uh, but when I came to the stadium and I had the uh, leader beep uh, of the pursuit, uh, then I started to worry a little bit. Uh, but um, in a while I was just uh, taking my thoughts together and I was calm. Uh, I was trying not to think uh, about any um, problems, I was thinking about good results. I was trying to uh, focus on my own competition and uh, I didn't have a, as a goal to run from someone. I just was focusing on my own uh, race. And how did you process your first win? Uh, yesterday, Johannes Dale told us he thought he will have problems sleeping, but then he had the best night of his life. <laughs> Uh, на самом деле хорошо, что после спринта uh, было, был, не было гонки преследования, потому что, наверное, я бы не уснула. Uh, так я сконцентрировалась на том, что завтра мне uh, 
выступать за команду и отбросила все лишние мысли и уснула хорошо, без проблем. Ну и вчера я очень устала после эстафеты и только, наверное, легла в кровать и сразу же уснула. Нет никаких проблем и меня это очень радует. Uh, to be honest, I'm really glad that after the sprint we didn't have pursuit competition, uh, otherwise I wouldn't uh, fall asleep for sure. Um, I was trying to concentrate on the relay and for the uh, team competition, and yesterday I was really tired, so I also fell asleep quite well, um, because um, I was trying just not to think about anything and uh, just uh, to get some rest. Can you talk about conditions today and why you fell down at some stage? Но сегодняшние условия были для всех одинаковые на трассе, но для моей техники не всегда подходит свежий снег и глянец на трассе. У меня случилось падение, так как я не очень люблю соревноваться на такой, на такой трассе. Но это хорошо, что выпадает новый снег, и нам будет соревноваться проще на следующей неделе. Um, I can say that conditions uh, for sure were um, the same for everyone today, uh, but probably for my technique it's not uh, always good when we have fresh snow. Uh, and uh, my fault today, maybe it was because I don't really like to compete at this kind of track, but anyways everyone had the same um, uh, conditions and it's really good that we have fresh snow, so the next week we can uh, have uh, good competitions again. And how does these two competitions change your outlook on the season? You are now at least currently uh, the, in the contention for total score win as well. Как теперь эти два подиума могут изменить ваш взгляд на предстоящий сезон и, возможно, даже борьбу за самый главный за total? Ну, я буду более увереннее в своих результатах, потому что, возвращаясь после Кантиалахти, где-то у меня закрадывалась мысль, что, может быть, у меня так получается, потому что все остальные еще не успели набрать хорошую форму. Но сейчас я понимаю, что я готова, готова неплохо. И, конечно, буду бороться, отдавать все силы в каждой гонке. Ну а там уже посмотрим. Сезон длинный, я никогда не бегала так много гонок подряд. Посмотрим, как мой организм справится. Um, I can say that now I am more confident in my results. Uh, after Contio Lahti, um, I had thought that I am in a good, uh, in good condition. Um, I am ready for now uh, and for sure I will fight for the best results and uh, maybe even for the total score. But the season is really long and uh, I have never competed in so many uh, competitions. So we will see how it goes, but for sure I will uh, fight. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you. And third place went to Julia Simon of France. Julia, a fantastic skiing performance. Can you talk about your day and when did you sense the opportunity that you can attack from behind? Um, it was a quite difficult start for me in the, in the first prone. So I was behind and uh, I, I know that I can be confident with my speed on the ski. So I try to do my best and uh, And uh, when I start the standing shooting, uh, I feel really good. And uh, it was just a perfect standing two times. So it was a, a really good fight in the last loop. Uh, your season start was not as strong as you might have expected because you finished last season really with the win. Uh, can you tell us how did you keep your motivation together in Kuntiolarti? Yes, of course, it was not the best start for me. I, I hope so much for the beginning and it was really hard, uh, especially in my head. I had a lot of uh, maybe some problem uh, behind the rifle and uh, my speed was not fast enough. And uh, I just try to be confident with uh, all the training I did in the summer. I try to, to stay focused, to think just about the race uh, coming and, uh, and uh, be my best and uh, just don't think so much. <laughs> It's, uh, you just be confident with, uh, with all the training I did in the summer. And what's, what has changed for you here in Hochfilzen? Yesterday, Milian told a similar thought process like you, like you just explained and said that he calmed down here, won some distance to his ambition and, and everything. 
Yeah, I think um, we did a training camp uh, in Besson, in altitude, and uh, it wasn't so good for me in Contiolati because I, I need more races for, for, being, uh, for being in shape. And uh, now we are here, just uh, not so far away from home. It's the same altitude, so I think it's easier for me to be, to be in good shape. I, and I, I think it's one of my best... Uh, shape so yeah I'm really happy to be to be here and uh, I will try to do the same uh, uh, next week and what does this podium mean for you for next week as you mentioned next week because you see there is at least 10 of you who can win any day <laughs> yeah that's uh, that's that's crazy that's really really nice to fight against this uh, great girl so it's always a new race new condition and uh, and always a new day, so I will try my best. But uh, I know it's uh, it's a really strong fight, and uh, it's just uh, amazing to to be there and uh, fight with this girl. And uh, it was a dream when I was uh, when I was a child. So I will uh, I will do my best. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you.